up guys today i'm going to show you what i've been working on during the last few weeks or months it's gonna be exciting and it's a new cool project i hope you're gonna enjoy it so let's see some visuals of the project So this is an RC car, obviously this is going to be an RC car, uh, it's completely 3D printed, the wheels are 3D printed, every moving part is 3D printed, it's got independent suspension in the front and it's gonna have uh, just like this standard bar suspension in the rear, so let's check out how it, how it moves. So it's alive, it's powered by two Arduinos and the NRF L24L0 modules. I don't know if they will have the range, so we'll, we're gonna see. This steering system works fairly well with the suspension, although it needs some load. Uh, the suspension needs some load for the for the steering to work correctly and jump back to position to the center position otherwise there's some friction if, if the springs are pressing down against the sway arms or what they're called so it works fairly well so i'm done with the suspension part and the steering part of it essentially um, Yeah, it's, it works fairly well. The tires are made of uh, TPU 98A. It's a bit of on bit on the hard side, but I think it's gonna work. And maybe to make it a bit more grippy, you can sand it. I've tried that. quite a few attempts of making the RC car most of these parts are part of the car you you can see the evolution of my thought process a bit like these parts really evolved and I always reprinted it tried it and fixed it and here is quite a good evolution of the main uh, base plate the main attachment for all the parts for the suspension we have another part fairly early on still has a bearing in it so this is like the evolution of it one of the parts that i'm most proud of is this part right here i let me 
let me look for one. This is one part, this is printed in one part. This is for the steering. This is quite a complicated part. So yeah, there's most of the parts I've, or at least like half of the parts I've thrown away. So this is the front. Let's have a look at it one more time, just like that. And now I'm starting the work on the rear, where the motor is gonna drive the rear wheels with no differential or no such mechanism, just a gear and a solid axle at first. And maybe later I can do a differential or just a dual motor setup. But at first it's gonna be just the wheel and the motor. So this is the basic, this is basically how this project looks and I think I can finish it quite soon. This is a tire right here. This is a failed print because it's separated. So the main inspiration for this project was this thing and it's a pretty good copy of it. <laughs> It's not necessarily a copy because you can't 3D print this, it's just like inspiration. Just if I, I was stuck then I could look at this RC car and I, I could get some inspiration like these steering links here and things like that. Just the general idea is from this car. Of course you can not 3D print it, you have to adjust your design. So I hope you enjoyed this update on, or at least it wasn't an update, but an, an, an announcement for this project. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, there's going to be an update soon on this project because it's, it's the most complicated part is actually over in my opinion, which is like the steering and the front suspension. It's quite complicated and a lot of time has went into it. So yeah. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. So yeah, let's make the goal of this video to have 42 likes. I hope we can reach it. And yeah, if you want to follow my projects, for example, like this liquid-cooled lithium-ion battery, which is, which is kind of on hold at the moment, the entire battery management system is being redone. I'm going to do a new case for it. Um, and it's, it's in the works slowly, but once I'm done with the car, it really will pick up. Because I just needed a break from this project, because I invested so much time in it. Yeah, and another quick, small, fun project is this small engine, two-stroke, which I'm working on. I'm not really planning to do like a video series on this one, it's just like a little fun project for me. But if you're interested, of course, you can post the comments, post it in the comment section and I can do some updates, some video on it, just one little short video maybe on the entire build. Although I really didn't document anything until now. So yeah, this is the basic, like, how my projects look and how I'm progressing with them. So you, you're going to see new projects on the lithium-ion battery soon. And if you want to follow my projects, make sure to subscribe and hit the 42 likes. That's one of the most important parts. So, bye-bye.